You're listening to the mic on headset X. You're listening to the mic on headset Y. You're listening to the mic on headset Z. You're listening to the super wide band mic on the new Razer Black Shark V2 Pro. Hola, estamos aquí con Niski. Un aplauso. Have you seen some uh, Korean shows when people like they want to be to do an interview and it's like ah we have like that uh, K-pop star and they yeah have you seen some time yeah it's really fun it's your first time in Korea no no it's my I think fourth time actually fourth time yeah I'm used to Korea yeah yeah why because did you learn so so much I mean first time was when I was trying out for Team Envious. Okay. Five years ago, okay. and I went two times with C9 to boot camp. Okay, and then now, ah, yeah. that's why. What do you think about Korea? I love Korea. You love Korea. Yeah. What do you love about Korea? Food, the people, because uh, I don't know the um, a lot of people here is like I love uh, the food. I love how people is, but I don't like to work here because here is like working is like really really hard. <laughs> so, what do you love about Korea? I mean, I think mostly, I think the people and the way yeah. they are and they act, I guess, I feel like they're so respectful. I don't know if it's like the Asian culture in general or if it's just where we are, but I feel like they're just respectful and everything is so nice. I feel like also the technology is so good here. Yeah. Um, and then, I mean, the food is insane. What's your favorite Korean food? I mean, Korean barbecue. Korean sure. barbecue. And their uh, fried chicken. And the fried chicken. Yeah, yes. So good. It's so good. So good. like uh, no fucking sense. Yeah, it's so yeah. good. It's so good. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you like uh, bibimbap? Not really. Not really? No, I like more yeah, barbecue. I understand. I understand that. So, another thing I want to ask you about Korea is like solo queue. Mm -hmm. What do you think about Korean solo queue? Mm, I think it's fine. Um, no, like I think it's fine in the beginning. Yeah. The problem is that to reach the good solo queue, you have to go through like <laughs> not the greatest solo queue, I would call it. <laughs> I think from around 800 LP is when you get good games because then it's only pros and really good players. But before 800 LP, I feel like it's really bad quality. Like it, there's, the macro and everything is bad, but it's just the players are so good mechanically. So. You train anyways, but yeah, right now I'm stuck like 650 LP, so I'm I'm not to the point where the sulk is like insane. It's like fine, but not good yet, you know. But I like it 10 times more than. I Europe. think it's what no was Noah who who said that. Yeah, he tweeted it, right? Yeah, he like said if you want high Emerald, quality, yeah. Diamond Master is like a little it's bit so of bad. So Even bad. Grand Master is still bad. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same because you still have the same players. It's just. Some players climb because they're really good mechanically, but they still they still don't have <laughs> they still don't have like brain. Um, but then, I mean, once you reach challenger, I think is when the games get like really spicy and it's like perma pros, like ten pros every game. And do you think it's worth to uh, if a if a League of Legends players come to Korea, it's worth uh, to them to come to Korea to improve? I mean, I think if they want to test themselves and yeah. they want to improve, I think it's for sure uh, the best place to go to play solo queue, I would say, because also everyone is like so try hard. Uh, I think if you're good enough mechanically, you will climb for sure. And I feel like in EU, maybe only mechanics can make you reach rank one. But yeah. here, only mechanics can make you go maybe challenger. But then you need also like the brain and like the, the game sense and everything, oh, yeah. you know, because the dives they do, the ganks, like all the fights, how they're being played, I feel like is so much different than uh, everyone else. Okay, okay. So we are going to do some uh, spicy shit, okay? Okay. Le voy a decir eh, cuando cuando lleguemos. Mm, si llegamos a 15 minutos, avísame, porque yo no me estoy dando cuenta que me estoy contando el tiempo. I'm like, I'm not. Uh, I don't know how many how many oh. minutes we, we got. So, okay. <coughs> you can be funny in that. Okay. What is better? A Spanish fan base or French fan base? <laughs> <laughs> it's for sure French fan base. No, why is it's, that? I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know if it's like, oh, if you're French, then okay. the Spanish hate you. And if you're Spanish, the French hate you. Or if it's just that they don't support the other country, you know? Like, there's something between them. But, I mean, it's French for sure. But I, there's also Spanish... Fans that are very nice, but for me, French, yeah. I met two uh, French uh, fans of League of Legends here in Korea. 
mm -hmm. and they we talk about Carmine Corp and fan base. Yeah. What do you think about when you see something like that? You are in LEC, mm -hmm. you see something like Carmine Corp, that stadium, uh, and other uh, events when, uh, when, when we see the Golden Hornets yeah. and Game Origins, and you are in, in LEC, and you have like 20... <laughs> Maybe 80 20 people. people. Yeah. Hey, hello, yeah. how are you? What, <laughs> how do you feel when you see that in, Fran in France? In Fran in Fran in Fran um, I mean, for me, since I'm very close to them, it doesn't feel as like, wow, because it's like, I know Kameto very well, I know Carmen Corp very well, and I feel like I know that they could do that, you know? But for some people, they thought they couldn't, but I knew that if they ran something of 30,000 people, they can fit it. Um, and I feel like once I was there, because I was actually there to that mm. event, I felt like, holy, you know, <laughs> this is insane. Um, but in the back of my head, I always knew that they could for sure do something that big. And I think it's good that they do stuff like that so that other orgs maybe start moving and doing their own stuff as well. Um, but yeah, I think right now they're the one, I feel like they're the one org that's like on the rise that everyone has like eyes on, you know? Kameto says that probably he will be in LEC mm -hmm. in next year. What do you think about that? I think it's good for them because I feel like if they want to go to the next level, they need to be in LEC because right now, I feel like winning your Masters is nice, but if you're a top org or you're looking to become one, then you need to be in the higher leagues. And I think LEC is for sure one of, is like the one in EU for, uh, for mm -hmm. the league. So I hope they make it. Um, but if they make it, I will smash them. So <laughs> yeah, it's up to them. <laughs> LEC needs Carmen Corp or Carmen Corp needs LEC? I think both need each other. Okay. I don't think LEC necessarily needs Carmen Corp. I think they're doing completely fine. Um, but for sure, the coming of Carmen Corp will be really good for the league. But I think it's also going to be really good for Kaimar come to sell because then they can test themselves against the best, against the best and maybe qualify for roles and see more. But I think both parts benefit a lot from it, yeah. You have been in LCS. What do you think about the state of LCS right now? About viewership, not about mm. uh, level. Yeah. Um, I feel like their league is not doing too good, uh, sadly. I mean, I, it was already going down when I came to EU, yeah. so I guess I left at the right time. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's not looking good for them, and I hope they can find a way to how do I say, like save it or do better, because it's kind of the home of League of Legends. Like, yep. it's where their main office is, and there was like, there's so many high players there. So I feel like if the league is slowly dying, um, which I think it is, then I think players might leave the region and go to like other regions. So probably LEC, I think you might see some players go to EU and I think that's when it becomes worse and that's because that's when the league will die is when NA players like American ones come to Europe. That's when I think the league will die, yeah. But do you think LCS player will come to, to Europe because we are going to have that, I don't know, they don't call it salary limit, yeah. the but cap. something like that. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about salary limit and do you think that will make like uh, a lot of players said, I don't want to go to Europe because I have uh, not too much money. I mean, from my view, yep. I don't think LCS players, maybe this year is still different, but I don't think next year LCS players will make more than LEC players. I think it will be actually less than what the LEC makes uh, player wise, I would say, just because I mean, the product of LEC is just higher than LCS, right? So it makes sense. And I feel like also for their careers, playing in LSE would make sense. But also, I don't think many players from NA can come to EU because I don't think they have the level needed. So I would say only the top three players of the region, I would say, can maybe come to EU. Um, and even then, I don't know if the EU teams want to mm -hmm. take a bet on players that come from NA and all that. Um, so, yeah. Do you think the salary cut is positive for the LEC? I mean, since I'm getting paid minimum, for me it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> but maybe for superstars it matters, yeah? Yes. I mean, seriously, I don't think it will change much for now. But oh, in no. the long run, I think it's going to be good for the league, yeah. What do you think about rivalry? Because I'm, I think it's something important in the narrative mm -hmm. of sports in general. 
but we don't have too much rivalry. It's something like we have to make some some noise like uh, Jaime Mellado versus Niski. Yeah, true. <laughs> to, to, to create some, some rivalry and it's like, okay, but what's happening? Why we don't have something like that in, in eSport? Why do you think it's, it's like that in eSport? Mm, I think it's because it's still young. Uh, I'm not sure how it is in like football and other sports, but I'm not sure if in the beginning there were already like rivalries. I think for now, there's not that many. I would say the biggest one is actually France versus Spain, <laughs> when yeah. there's French players playing against Spain players, uh, Spanish players. But I feel like in 10 years, if the orgs stay the same and if they grow uh, as they are right now, then I think there will be rivalries being created. But I feel like it's also hard when teams change so often, I feel like, in LEC, or like some people lose their spots, some people merge. Um, and I feel like right now in EU, I feel like the only two teams in my head, actually three, that I see that have been there for a while is G2, Fnatic and the Vitality. Maybe I forgot some, I'm sorry, but um, and I feel like those three, for example, I feel like in five to ten years, there will be for sure even more rivalries. Um, and if Carmine, come, comes, uh, Carmine Corp comes, then I think for sure there will be. Or if they play like Koi or Heretics and whatnot, um, and G2, for example. But I think it will slowly come, it just needs a bit more time. And also I think the players, or not very trashy, yeah. I would say. Which? Why not? Because if you said something, it's mm. like a fan are a little bit crazy or? I feel like with the way Twitter is and social yeah. media in general, if I say I'm gonna smash Jensen, let's say, and we play them and I lose, then I, the whole Twitter, there will be like videos, maybe TikTok and whatnot, and then everything will be taken out of context and then people will think I'm a piece of trash and then a lot of people will hate me and I feel like it's very dangerous for players to actually trash talk right now with the way it is. Um, unless you're way too good, then you can do it. But that's why also I think most players don't trash talk, yeah. Yeah, I understand. Europe wins the first round against NA yesterday. <coughs> yeah. What do you think about that match? Garen has been to win. Yeah, I think as expected. Yeah. Yeah. 3-0. Yeah. Uh, a, little, a little bit fast. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't think, ah, actually, I need water. Okay, I continue. I mean, for me, it was expected that they 3 0, just because I feel like the gap is actually so big. <laughs> uh, I thought it was closing, but now that I see BDS versus GG, I feel like maybe it's not closing at all, but also maybe GGS was actually really bad. Then I feel like BDS has the right. Meta read. Uh, I think they had better drafts and I think they just played better in general. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. Easy questions, more or less. Okay. How far do you think Man Lions is going to go in Worlds 2023? I would say there's a high chance we go out of the Swiss stage, meaning okay. top eight. I think we kind of found our meta. I feel like the mood has never been this good. Okay. Being in an international event before, I feel like in the past years when I've been, it was always so bad. Um, people stress out, there's conflicts and whatnot. Um, for now, there has been nothing. <laughs> I hope there's nothing coming up. Um, and I think we're doing pretty good in scrims. So I would say, yeah, top eight for me is for sure doable. And also personally, I think I will challenge the mids uh, that are, are playing here in Worlds. and. That's also one of my goals. So for me to reach top eight is already a big uh, achievement. Yeah. What do you, the mid laner do you want to face off? I mean, I want to play Knight and Chovy. Okay. I think everyone wants to play them because they're <laughs> the best at their role. Um, yeah, and the next that I'm in Faker, of course. <laughs> in a Wolves uh, mid laner ranking, well, what would be your position? I mean, that I think is hard to say. Yeah. Just because. <laughs> I feel like I don't want to say I'm better than any of the LCK or LPL mid laners and also I was third seed in Europe so Caps and Humanoid are like above me um, and I don't like to rank myself really but I would say I can answer these questions after the, okay. the tournament. Okay, <laughs> uh, Niski, thank you so much. Thank uh, you. Good luck in Worlds. Thank you very much.